If you share your music or videos on YouTube or other platforms, sometimes you'll get comments from people that don't speak the same language as you. Now, it would be easy to just ignore these, but what about if you want to respond to all of your comments? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can quickly translate foreign language comments and then reply in the user's language. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, if you are releasing music, or you're sharing videos, or you're using any sort of social sharing platform, chances are that you're going to come across someone who doesn't speak or write the same language as you do. Now, I come across this quite often in Facebook, and Facebook is good because it will automatically translate. You can actually click to see a translation straight away, and then the other user can do that. Places like YouTube and other platforms do don't have that, but there's an easy way that we can quickly translate from one language into another and then back again so we can be communicating with everyone that is commenting on our videos. And what are we going to use to translate? Why, Google Translate, of course. So we're going to go to translate.google.com. And if you haven't used this before, it is super cool. It allows you to translate from one language to another, and then you can write a reply and translate it back again. So let's go over to YouTube here, and I'm going to grab the comment that I want to translate, which is this one here. We will highlight this, and we'll do Control-C. Now, this comment says, uh, it's from AFTR. It says, Saludos, Pete. Seria un honor para mi que... Oh, yeah. So I don't speak Spanish. Now, I'm assuming this is Spanish because they say Mexico at the end, so it's a pretty safe bet. But what I'm going to do is come over to Google Translate and I'm going to control V to paste this in. And what you'll see there is it has automatically translated that across and it's even detected the language there. So you can see there, Spanish is detected. So you don't even have to tell it what language it is. In this case, I knew, but if you don't know that, you can detect the language. And that's great if you're seeing text there that you've got no idea who it is, where they're from, what language they're speaking, you can automatically translate. So over here, it's telling me, it says, greetings, Pete. It would be an honor for me to hear my creation in GarageBand. Uh, thanks for all your knowledge you share. A follower from Mexico welcomes you. So I'm assuming this link is to their uh, Facebook, not their Facebook, their YouTube page, uh, where I'll be able to, to check out their music and their GarageBand creation. So I'll go ahead and check that out at a later time. But it's telling me here that they want me to check out their video. And then it said, thanks for the knowledge you share. A follower from Mexico welcomes you. So that's very cool. And I could just leave it at that going, yay, I now know what they said, but if we click on these swap buttons in the middle here, it's going to flip it around and it's going to put English on the left and Spanish on the right. So now I can actually reply. So let's go, hello, my friend. So it's got, hola, mi amigo. Uh, thank you for your kind words. So it's going to translate that. Gracias por sus amables palabras. Yes, you can laugh at my Spanish pronunciation. And then I'm going to go, um, good luck with your music creation. There we go. Buena suerte con tu creación musical. <laughs> Again, feel free to laugh at my pronunciation, but I'm giving it a go, all right? Okay, let's uh, copy this in, uh, sorry, I've copied the English. Let's copy the Spanish translation here. And I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna come over here and then I'm going to give his comment a like. I'm gonna hit the reply button here and I'm gonna paste in my reply and hit reply. Now I could also put a bracket with an English translation, which might be a good idea if other people were following along. That's a, something you can do if you want to. But for this one, yeah, that they've uh, responded to me in Spanish. I've replied in Spanish. And yes, we, if, if we get into a long conversation, then I'll be back here to use Google Translate again. But this is just a great way to converse with anyone. And this is why it's so good to be living here in the future in 2019 that it is right now, is that we're not bound by international borders. I I can not speak Spanish, but I can communicate with another user in whatever language they're talking. And, you know, we all talk the language of music, so this is a great way to go. So there you go, something very different today, but hopefully you find that useful or in the least a little bit interesting. If you'd like to check out some more videos, there are two linked down below right now. You can also subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. I do talk about music sometimes as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.